Hello, my friends. Welcome to our Wednesday night live broadcast. And I, first and foremost, want to welcome uh, all of my students that are back looking to catch up on the latest things that are taking place on Facebook and, and LinkedIn. And I uh, also want to uh, welcome back some former students who, like a lot of uh, folks, have been doing this past month, coming back to check on what's new. And one of the things that keeps me doing what I do is the fact that Facebook, LinkedIn, the whole social networking world is constantly changing. Constantly changing. And... Uh, as uh, one of my good friends who is has been in the industry for a number of years uh, and has been a top earner in three businesses, said to me, we've come a long way since AOL. And my God, we have. The whole social network, more and more people today than ever before are jumping on Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, bringing people into their business like no one's ever seen before. It is is changed it's changed frankly the way people are building network marketing companies it's changed the industry and for those of you here tonight we're going to be talking about how you can bring leaders into your business and faster frankly than ever before now since last year, we've been talking about a perfect storm of opportunity that's taking place in the network marketing industry that is changing the way everybody's building their business. A perfect storm, by definition, is a rare combination of adverse events or things that arise from several negative and unpredictable factors. Now, these adverse events produce unusually bad or powerful results. The spread of COVID-19 has created a worldwide pandemic. And at the same time, network marketers are in the center of this perfect storm of opportunity because more people than ever before are out of work and are looking for ways to make money from home. In many cases, they want to start a business. Network marketers are using LinkedIn in conjunction with this perfect storm of opportunity that started last year with the spread of COVID-19. As a result, LinkedIn has grown faster as more people are joining. Network marketing is taking off. Earlier today, I spoke to two old friends, uh, founders of two different network marketing companies. They told me, Last year was the best year they ever had. Companies are having their best year and top earners are having their best year. There are more people today that are looking to get into network marketing than ever before. A tidal wave of business is taking place on LinkedIn and Facebook. But LinkedIn is by far a better place to build your business than Facebook. It's here. Perfect storm of opportunity. It's a virtual tidal wave of people that are jumping full-time into network marketing, frankly, because of LinkedIn. Now, these moving images that you see on your screen are called GIFs. G-I-F. Stick an S on the end for plural. As a result of expanded bandwidth, LinkedIn has added GIFs. LinkedIn has added video. 
And about three years ago, about a year after, um, you know, a year after um, Rick, you know, you <laughs> you went through our program. Um, GIFs started to get very popular. And when we use moving images to build our business, what happens, especially in communication, people react, people respond faster. Part-time network marketers are going full-time. And full-time network marketers are watching their business grow faster than ever before because what I teach duplicates faster than I've ever seen it. Now, the world's largest professional, professional social network today is LinkedIn. 772 million professional users, and sad to say, it's no longer a secret. More and more marketers are jumping on to LinkedIn. The proliferation of marketers blows me away. Adding another reason to the fact that you want to strip your profile of anything that relates to your network marketing business because a lot of network marketers, a lot of marketers, period, are messing everything up. Now, Facebook has grown to 2.74 billion active users, but it doesn't hold a candle to LinkedIn. So we are going to show you how you can experience explosive growth this year. Now, I don't care what you did last year. It doesn't matter. Whatever you did last year, this year, you can double it. You can triple it. Because there are professionals out there with large circles of influence that are looking for an opportunity. And because they know people who would have a natural affinity for network marketing, when you bring these people into your business, your business grows faster. Now, for registering for this webinar, we gave everybody the option to download our Universal Profile Checklist, and we have a new one coming. So anybody that downloaded the old one uh, by, actually, probably over the weekend, we're going to be releasing the new one. So as long as you're in the database as having downloaded this, we're going to send you a new one. And this is going to give you and your team an unfair advantage over your competition. Now, the one that you've downloaded, the information is still valid. It still works. The thing is, the screen captures represent what Facebook and LinkedIn used to look like. But the elements that you need to change are identified, and they're easy to find. So in all cases, uh, even though the screens are a little out of date, the information is still valid. When we come out with a new one, we've added about 25% new content. Additionally, for those of you that are in boot camp, I want to remind you that our network marketing texting scripts that close more sales and our net how network marketers catch whales is going to be two very, very important tools. And the most important thing I can say to you is this. Follow the scripts. Our texting scripts is going to be part of your conversation toolbox. All of the pages in there are in a copy and paste format. We provide you with the first messages to send on Facebook, the second message is the icebreaker, and then we take the typical questions that you might get from a prospect, like someone wants to know, why are you asking me so many questions? Or, can't you see it's on my profile while you're asking me this? Or my favorite, you're the fifth person that sent me the same message, what are you selling? How to retract a message you regret sending? And more. In our network marketers catch whales, we've broken it down to three categories of whales. Corporate executives from over, I think it's 19,000 stores that are shut down. 
entrepreneurs from over 100,000 businesses that have closed. They're never coming back. And we've added network marketers that are looking for new opportunity. And so in the new document, how to find whales, the keyword searches that you want to use, and how to bring corporate executives with titles that immediately connect them to new people, how to search and find the stores that have closed, and then how to look them up on LinkedIn and look at the numbers. Art Van Furniture, bankrupt, stores shut, 13,000 people looking for an opportunity. And when you bring folks that are executives from these companies into your business, your business grows faster. Todd sent me, Max, thanks to you, I enrolled three rock stars, whales. This would have been possible without your strategies for enrolling a whale. So there are all kinds of people, professionals out there that know a lot of people. And when you follow the scripts, you're all heading down a road that will take you to the top of your business. At the end of the month, we're also going to be releasing our 60-minute recruiting formula for LinkedIn and our 60-minute recruiting formula for Facebook. That's going to make it easier for everybody to build their business. And for those of you that are in the February boot camp, you're going to be the first people to actually get to go through some of these new strategies, some of these new scripts. I love success stories. Dana Barish is the top recruiter in her company. I started working with Dana 10 years ago. And uh, we actually started on MySpace. Top earner in her business. I love the last message. I can't keep up with the instant messages. Remind me never to make dinner after posting one of your recommended statuses. Today, she's making six figures every month. I don't show you these to impress you. I show you these to impress upon you what you can be doing. Tanya reached the executive vice president position. It's a top position in her company. Francisco and I started working together 21 years ago. 21 years ago. I was teaching distributors, prepaid legal, on America Online. He mastered the process. Once you master this process, it doesn't matter what the social network is. It's four steps. Create, connect, communicate, and close. The platforms change, but the process is the same. So he jumped back into network marketing. Last year, his first week, he brought in 18 people. His, he sent me another message in October, 20 people last week. And I'm excited to say in November, he's in the process of enrolling two whales. Whales are professionals with large circles of influence. It combined, they're both making over a million dollars a year in his company. And in December, I enrolled two whales in my business in November, thanks to you and your scripts. Now I'm excited to report my two whales have brought in members of their teams and they've brought in three other whales who are bringing in members of their team. You want to become a top earner in your business? You want to go to the top faster and quicker? Bring in a whale. Now, in our How to Catch a Corporate Whale, we focused on professionals in the corporate world. Since Francisco's an old student, I gave him a copy of the new document, which will show you how to recruit network marketing whales. And again, Todd, follow the scripts that will lead down a predictable path to enrolling a whale. Anthony was in our November boot camp and he enrolled 10 people. Now with what's happening out there in society, never before has this been truer. When life hands you lemons, make lemonade. Phenomenal post. When something happens that takes you down a different road than you had planned, take control of the situation, turn it into something positive. What looks like a catastrophe can end up being a wonderful new opportunity. Entire industries have been negatively affected by COVID-19. As over 100,000 businesses have been forced to close. People who work in restaurants, bars, nightclubs have been especially hard hit, along with those in retail sales, 
travel, leisure industries, and entertainment and fitness. Millions of people around the world have been forced out of work and you have the opportunity that provides their solution. Now, while any social network can be a source of free leads because it connects you with the people that would be interested in building a business or purchasing your products or services, some social networks are better than others because they provide you with greater access to more people. We hear people talking about, oh, build your business on Instagram, build your business on Pinterest, build your business on YouTube. Any social network where you can connect with somebody, interact, and show them your business is okay. However, there are some social networks that are going to give you access to more people, easier ways to communicate, the best are Facebook and LinkedIn. And over the last three years, Facebook has made a number of changes that reduce your ability to search and find people because they want to sell you advertising. And in 2016, LinkedIn was purchased by Microsoft. In fact, Rick, uh, when... You went through our boot camp. We was, were working with you. The live chat feature is nothing like it is today. I'm going to demonstrate it. They're always changing. And LinkedIn, I have to tell you, is better than ever before. So while social networks are a great source of free leads, there are four things that make them, make them great. Four things. LinkedIn and Facebook have all four. First, the profile. Profiles of each user contains more than enough information about someone to help you identify a good prospect in advance of making a contact. LinkedIn and Facebook provide the most information of all the social networks. And frankly, LinkedIn provides you with their resume, the information that lets you know what they've been doing for a living. Second, the texting system that enables you to communicate directly and privately with other users in the network. That includes features to share videos, GIFs, and emojis, moving images. And today, while both of these two social networks provide the best texting systems, LinkedIn, in the last three months, has added features that make it better than Facebook. Searching feature that enables you to filter through the entire network population using keyword advanced searching components to prospect and recruit perfect cream of the crop prospects according to their specific demographics and yours. Now, when it comes to searching, LinkedIn is 1,000 times better than Facebook. Matter of fact, it's better than all of them. And finally, the ability to create or share a video. That can attract perfect prospects, give you immediate credibility so you can position yourself as an expert, dominate any market. And today, LinkedIn has LinkedIn Live. Now, you're all familiar with Facebook Live, but now we have LinkedIn Live. So not only do LinkedIn and Facebook have all four of these features, they are the best social networks to build your business on because they give you easier direct access to the most people. But today, LinkedIn is better than Facebook, hands down. Now, LinkedIn and my four-step formula will enable you to break through the greatest obstacle facing every network marketer today, not having qualified prospects to talk to. It will put you on the road to success because never before have so many people wanted to make money from home with a home-based business to get into network marketing. You want to think of LinkedIn and Facebook as two big bowls of candy. They are virtual gold mines of prospects that you could reach into any time from any place and pull out the candy of your choice. Yellow M&Ms represent unhappy network marketers. Green M&Ms, people that are looking for business opportunity. How many times can you reach into that bowl and pull out an appropriate colored M&M? There's no limit. As many times a day as you want. Everyone on LinkedIn and Facebook created a profile for a reason. That reason is easy to identify 
so you can identify who you want to talk to because everyone's got that recognizable agenda. Their profile photos, contents, and daily activity broadcast the agenda. There's no guessing. So step one in this four-step process is to create a powerful profile so that you stand out from the crowd. Other people in your field, other people in your company. You want to be the one that these people respond to. You want to be the one that people are anxious to talk to. A great profile is going to help you stand out from the crowd, attract your target audience, and make you irresistible to your ideal prospect. Step two, connect with perfect cream of the crop prospects. So remember, everyone's got an agenda. You can pick out the people that you want to talk to. And the LinkedIn searching feature is going to make it easier for you to find the people proactively that you want to talk to. They are now radically different from what they were a year ago. So you can search on LinkedIn by keywords. Search by their location, country, state, city, or distance by zip code. Step three is communicate with everyone and qualify them by asking questions. See, the people on LinkedIn and Facebook that you want to talk to are going to fall into three categories. You really want to be talking to the green M&Ms or the yellows. You find network marketers that are happy. They're using, they're happy with the products, but they're not making any money. And then the reds are customers. So the people you're already connected to and you actually know them. So what this process is going to do for all of you is where traditionally, what do they ask you to do in network marketing? You bring somebody into your business. They got to make a list. And then they reach out to the people that they know, contact them. And since they are making the initial contact, especially if they haven't talked to someone in a while, the dynamics of that interaction, that conversation are different than if you follow my program. See, if you reach out and you call somebody you went to high school with, you've called them out of the blue. Your purpose is to let them know what you're doing. And in the back of their mind, some of them are going, I wonder why uh, Rick is calling me. Your conversation is ultimately headed towards a direction where you're going to tell them about your business. But what if you start with the people that you're already connected to on Facebook, you're already connected to on LinkedIn, you make a post, you change your picture. They react to it, they respond to it, and now you reach out to them as a result of them liking or making a comment. So it's not you initiating something. Yeah, you made the post. But the whole dynamics of the conversation changes. Hey, I'm glad you like my new picture. You know, it's been years since we talked. What are you up to? I'm glad you like my joke. You know, somehow we've been connected on here, but I have no idea who you are. But I've got an interesting profile. The bottom line is, you're not starting the conversation cold. And the whole nature of the conversation changes. And literally, people are making sales before they even start reaching out to the people that they would like to know. Second, we have people you're already connected to, but we have no idea who they are. And again, when they react and respond to something that we do, engage them in a conversation, qualify them by learning more about them and close some sales. And then finally, the big group are the people you're not connected to that you want to know. And so what you get to do is you get to alter your profile. You get to spruce it up a little bit using our, the chameleon strategy where you reverse engineer your profile to be the person that they would like to know. And all you have to do is remember this. The more selective you are about the people you continue to talk to, the more successful you are going to be. The key to success in your business on LinkedIn and Facebook for that matter is to first realize that a certain percentage of the people on them are predisposed, eager, ready, and willing to talk to you, buy your products, or get into business with you. Instead of talking to unqualified prospects, you filter them out by the contents of their profile. 
You fill them out by the answers they give you to certain questions. But as you filter them, if you continue to talk to qualified prospects, but you don't qualify them further by asking the right questions, you could be talking to people all day long and never make a sale. When you filter your qualified prospects with the proper questions, you will talk to fewer people, but you will close more sales. And step four, closing more sales in less time. See, if you know in advance that someone's a perfect prospect for what you're selling by the contents of their profile and their daily activity, develop a relationship with them before you talk about your business, you're going to sell to more people and build your business faster. And relationships today on social networks like LinkedIn and Facebook happen like that. Instead of wasting time reaching out to a bunch of people who will never buy your product, there are simple ways to find the perfect ways and means of attracting the people who want to buy your products before they're contacted by your competitors and they buy from them and said, and believe me, they are being contacted by people in your company. They are being contacted by people from other companies, competitors. These two documents are going to be invaluable to helping you build your business. Whoops, we have a little duplication here. Now, if you're not having the results you want, the reasons are obvious, easy to identify, and simple to fix. It's either going to be the contents of your page, the people you're contacting, or the way you talk to people. So before we get into the contents of our, our boot camp. Let me flip over here. And I want to talk about our February boot camp. Now, as soon as you register for February boot camp, you have links to be able to get on any of our daily sessions, Ask Max session. And you no longer have to do it the day of the session. You could literally do it a week ahead. We're going to give you access to our January boot camp. So you can get started right away. You don't have to wait until the 6th. And we have flip books. So you don't have to download the PDF. You could literally bring them up, watch, go through the information. Bootcamp starts on Thursday, February the 4th. After each bootcamp session, you'll put up the video, we'll put up the flipbook. Now, Rick, when you did a bootcamp, I think it was a two, it was a, maybe a three week program. Now it's two weeks, actually four sessions. But what I want to bring to your attention is first the flipbook. which has not only the initial scripts that you want to use in a copy and paste format. We're going to show you where to get the GIFs, where to get the emojis. And in addition to the messages, we have case studies. These, by the way, are the six actions. Adjust your profile, make yourself visible, change your picture, change your cover, post a joke or a motivational quote. Wish someone a happy birthday or wish someone a happy holiday. Send texts to the people that respond and you're on your way to closing sales almost on a daily basis. Now, what I'm really crazy about are the case studies. So you've got the questions, but when somebody says to you, well, I've seen so many people fail at network marketing, what do you say? Now, these are actual scripts that resulted in sales that have been used by hundreds of people. What do you say when someone says, you know, I've been approached by a lot of people? Every one of these ends up in a sale. What do you text when someone says, Thanks, but it's not for me. You did it perfectly, perfectly. You know they need it, but they're turning you down. 
ends up in a sale. What if your prospect objects to auto ship? Again, an explanation of auto ship, why it's not a big deal. Sale. Someone you're talking to doesn't know what network marketing is, never heard of it. Well, we've got a written description that answers people's questions, builds a level of trust. What do you say when a prospect mentions illegal pyramids? Or when a prospect doesn't like network marketing? Every one of these resulted in a sale. Now, I have to warn you, when you use these, you got to edit them to fit your prospect. Example of using the feel, felt, found strategy. I know completely how you feel about network marketing because I felt that way too after failing a few times. When someone showed me that I could build my business online in an hour a day and finally make the money that attracted me to the network marketing business model in the first place, I gave it another try. I'm so happy I did because it's all about residual income, isn't it? Many people change their minds when they learn how to build the business online and are very pleased when they do. Would you like to learn more about my business? So, this, in conjunction with learning how to find the best prospects, is going to create a world of difference. But, it is how to catch the corporate whale. that is gonna help you take your business to the next level. Now this is the version that we released, it's an update, last summer. And we're coming out with a newer version. This one is how to catch a corporate whale. Okay. Perfect storm and corporate whales in many industries are turning to network marketing. Millions of jobs have been lost. People are desperate to make money. And you have the solution for them. Many people will jump into your business. They're eager to talk to you on LinkedIn. The cream of the crop of these people are called whales, top executives in their companies. And when they join your business, they bring people with them. Corporate leaders are called whales. Whales are result-oriented professionals with the experience to lead, inspire, motivate, teach, train, recruit, and manage the groups of people that they work with. Whales are great team builders. So you've got companies, this number, of course, obviously has dramatically changed. It's close to, I believe, 20,000. When we release it, we'll take a snapshot. Companies like J.C. Penney, Pier One, The Gap, Companies are out of business. And what we want to do is we want to recruit corporate whales from retail chain stores, cafe, chains of gyms, chains of beauty salons with titles like national sales manager, general manager, department manager. And over the last 60 days, we've come up with some phenomenal scripts for recruiting recruiters and human resource professionals. Again, when life hands you lemons. Additionally, network marketing companies that go out of business. Javita pulled out of network marketing last year in March. Two days later, Mary Kay pulls out of Australia and New Zealand. In October, Univera terminated their distributor agreements. They go on retail. Top earning network marketers are constantly looking for whales. Anyone, even you, can catch a whale when you know where to find them, how to connect with them, and how to bring them into your business. Again, these are the different types of professionals, network marketers, executives, affiliate marketers, internet marketers, authority figures. We're going to literally list how you find these people. Whales are easy to find. And same thing with corporate whales. There are whales in some professions that are better suited to become successful in network marketing than others. Now, before you talk to anybody about your business, especially when it comes to a corporate whale, 
You have to know why they got into their profession, what they love the most about their job, what do they know about network marketing, how do they feel about it, what experience have they had with network marketing, and what are their negative perceptions about network marketing. It is critically important to identify and resolve their negative feelings before going into detail about your business, or they will not consider joining you. If you run into anybody that tells you something bad about network marketing, the truth is that you've got better information than they do. It could be based on their experience. It could be based on the experience of people that they know, a family member. But you have to deal with it. And when you do and you resolve their differences, they'll come into your business. Then you have to be prepared to show them how they can help the people that they've worked with at their old jobs on any level that are struggling financially. Bring them into your business. We have a, an example that we're going through right now where one of my students connected with an owner of a restaurant that's been in the family for over 50 years. They have been shut down. They have 50 employees. And they were frantic about their employees. Some of those people had worked with them for 10 years, 12 years. So the owner of the restaurant gets into a network marketing company and actually paid for about 25 of the employees to jump into a business so that they can be earning income until they can go back to work. Of course, they're all under the owner of the restaurant. To achieve fastest business results, you want to start with their inner circle leaders at the highest levels. Again, um, you want to follow the scripts. Now these are, this, this, uh, the texting tactics book replaced our social network and chatting strategies. Quarantine strategies have been updated and I strongly urge you to buy the book, How to Argue and Win Every Time by Jerry Spence. He was an attorney, never lost a case. You read this book. You can get it on, I think, Amazon for like $9 or $10. You will never, you will never lose an argument after you read that book. Okay, and so we want to catch corporate whales. We want to copy edit and paste these scripts. You've got to modify them. Now, you're all in the process of learning what I've called, well, actually, I didn't call it, the, ma the Socratic method of selling. It's a method of teaching or discussion. It was used by Socrates in ancient Greece in which one asks a series of easily answered questions to a prospect that inevitably leads them to the logical conclusion that they need what you're selling. Respect your prospect, help your prospect think, help your prospect make decisions. And the logical decision when they understand what you do is to join in your business. So we're going to provide you with additional scripts. What prompted you to get into your profession? And then we're going to give you transition lines, additional questions that you just have to copy, paste, and edit. You want to find out what their experience is. And this will take you all the way up to introducing your business. What are the things that they like to do? If they can't find a job in their current industry, would they transfer to another industry? Again, what do you say to the prospect that doesn't like pyramids, especially if we're talking to a corporate whale? And then, what do you say to the prospect that says, after you've done it all, You've done it all. You've shown them the business. You did it. You qualified them. And then they come back and say, well, I'm going to pass it this time. After doing some online research, I don't feel confident moving forward at this time. Well, what happened was he went online and he did a search for network marketing and he didn't like the answer he got. Pyramids. So we're giving you an example from start to finish someone that reached out to a district manager in a chain of gyms that got shut down, that went bankrupt. All right? And it resulted, when you take it all the way through, resulted in a sale.
Now, 24 hour fitness. A chain of gyms in bankruptcy. You come over here to people. And you got 57,000 people that work or work connected to 24 hour fitness. So we could do a search for 24 hour fitness and let's look at, for the trainers. The people that are working with the clients. Well, there's 19,000. But if you want to talk to people with larger circles of influence, let's raise the bar. Instead of trainer, how about manager? The guy that runs the gym. There's 30,000 managers in 24 hour fitness. Well, how about a district manager? A district manager is responsible for an area that could contain maybe 10 or 15 gyms. Last year in March, 24 Hour Fitness terminated 60 district managers in one day. So you got district manager, and then we have regional manager. 4,700 regional managers. Let's come up here and take a look at J.C. Penney. Now, J.C. Penney was going bankrupt. They closed a lot of stores. And at the same time, they they sub they were rescued. They're not closing all of the stores. So you got general managers. Let's come down here and let's look at Andrew here. General manager, J.C. Penney. Worked for J.C. Penney for 31 years. Now, how do you think she feels about losing her job? So we come back over here to J.C. Penney. You have store manager. You got 27,000 store managers. Then we have department managers. You got 6,200 department managers. And then we have, how about district managers, 10,000, responsible for a wide range, multiple stores. And then, of course, we have regional managers. And you can reach out to these people on a daily basis. Start conversations that you know in the end can result in a sale. You have to show people the opportunity. To show them why they need what you have. Now, boot camp starts on the 4th and on the very next day, on the 5th, We're going to have a two-day top earner retreat on a Friday and a Saturday. In addition to the conversational resources, you're going to get our 90-day game plan. This is going to show you step-by-step -step how to bring somebody into the business and how you, the things that you have to do to train them. It's a, it's a four-step process. Pre prepare, preparation, pre-launch, launch, and event. 
what you do with your new recruit. Step them through. Give them the information they need. Prepare them to be successful. One of the things is to get agreements. Make sure that their family is behind them. Pre-launch. The basics to prospecting, putting together their scripts. The actual launch, their daily activity, their schedule, the importance of a buddy system. People thrive in network marketing when they are not working alone. You bring somebody into the business, you become their buddy. When they start bringing people into the business, the people they, they are the buddies of the people they bring into the business. This was designed initially before COVID-19. So it covered all kinds of presentations and it covered all kinds of events. How to invite someone to your home. How to invite someone to a hotel. How to do a Facebook Live. All of that's changed. Now, there are no live events. And so, literally, this is without question the best. From what I understand, I've literally got thousands of folks that have gone through this. They all come back and tell me the same thing. It's the best thing that they've ever gotten their hands on, specifically because it teaches everybody how to build a business on Facebook and LinkedIn. How to set up groups, how to do a live broadcast. It's all there. It's all there. So at the end of the day, it ultimately comes down to who you pick to talk to, all right? Who you pick to talk to. Now, let me... Let me come back over here, and again, I want to share with you some of the success stories that have just changed people's lives. Then we're going to look at, whoops, we're going to look at some of your profiles. Let me, let me just say this, okay, that asking, you know, what we really want to do is we want to talk to people and we want to ask questions. What do they do? How long have they been doing it? What did they do before? And what prompted them to get into their business? The answers to these questions will reveal if they're a prospect. You ask simple questions to learn. Is there a problem that can be solved by working with you? Do they have a need for your products? Do they currently use similar products? Are they interested in making money from home? Asking question after question without making comments, without reacting to their previous answers, can turn a conversation with someone into what feels like an interrogation. So it's not what works in network marketing. It's what duplicates. We're seeing examples where people bring someone into their business on Monday. By Wednesday, they're bringing in their friends. By Friday, those people are bringing in their friends. Patty it took her six days from the initial message to signing her up in the business. David signed up four people while he was in boot camp. In the following month, it, came, it was up to 20. Now, I, I love success stories. I'm going to pop over here. And uh, I'm going to jump over here to... Um, there's a number of people I can do this with. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Now, let, let me just give you an example of what you're looking at, all right? So Harvey Hess here reached out to me. Now, if you look at Harvey's profile, author, speaker, investor, change agent, marketing expert, philanthropist. Sound familiar? I mean, I went and checked. My database, he's not a customer. He's never been, no record of him ever getting any of our, my programs. Okay. He's got, there's a, uh, yeah. all right. Interesting profile. So let's look at the message he sends me. So first he said, he sent Max. I thought since we're both in the network marketing 
space or the network, it would be great to connect and leverage our, our network. Look forward to getting to know you and sharing success stories. That was the first message. Second message, thanks for accepting, Max. I appreciate it. Curious how your business is being affected with all that's going on. What do you love most about your company? I guess he needed to read my profile, okay? So the bottom line is this. There are all kinds of people out there that are approaching other people. I'm going to pop over here to my message area. Now, what I want to show you, okay, the chats, okay, look at the chats, okay, I want you to notice, nobody ever expected a professional network like LinkedIn to put up smileys, but how about GIFs? Happy birthday. These are the kind of things that we saw on Facebook. Now, the exact same ones. And so we gave everybody a place where you could go, where you could download your own, making it easier to communicate with folks. Okay? Let me come over here and let's look for Joanne. Okay, so we're gonna work backwards. I got this from Joanne earlier today. I have to tell you, I feel like I'm fishing in a bucket full of fish. I had someone reach out to me on Facebook. After going back and forth a little, I identified that he may be an unhappy network marketer and I set an appointment to talk to him on Monday. He has no idea he's going to be enrolling into a Mount Luca business. Connected with one of my first managers that I worked with over 20 years ago. Haven't spoken to her since. Offered her some tips on her LinkedIn because I could tell her from her profile she wasn't taking advantage of the platform. Had a blast connecting with her. Catched up yesterday. Shared with her what I was doing. It wasn't, And I wasn't even trying to enroll her, but by the end of the conversation, we set up a date for today to enroll her. So what you taught us about LinkedIn and communication, you can't put a dollar value on. Now, for this one, I got to go up. I, the woman I enrolled this week has enrolled two, with one that will enroll tomorrow. It's been a Mount Luca for nine years. Talk about duplication. One of the three people I enrolled in less than a day was on your call this morning, and you took a peek at her profile. I did an hour of LinkedIn training right after, and she has her first business building. This woman ended up enrolling, this is the one she's talking about down here. Two people, three people. I enrolled three people in a matter of 12 hours. Again, you're all heading down the same road. And let's do a little further. Um, Writing an insurance policy, she sold her client a, a membership. Last 10 days, I've enrolled four people. All right? Again, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm trying to impress upon you what you can be doing. So let me kind of scroll down and look at who's here. And first and foremost, let me slide Rick over and let me unmute him. Well, Rick, welcome back. You know, sometimes people are in a position where they can talk and sometimes they can't. How are you? Um, pretty well. How are you? I got to tell you something. Um, I've never been better. You know, <laughs> it, it's like every day I'll, I'll hear from somebody that is, um, you know, all of a sudden the light bulb goes off. I'm curious about one thing. Now, I don't think you've been using LinkedIn very much. Am I right on that? You are correct. Yeah, let me tell you how I could tell. So I'm looking over here at 296 connections. <laughs> All right. 
I mean, we we, we got we, we kind of did this in 2017. So today, what LinkedIn has done is LinkedIn has made it easier to connect with people we know or connect with people that we want to know. Okay, so so anyway, I'm thrilled to to see you. Um, if are you still in the same business or? Well, that was part of the problem, right? When I went through your training, the company was trying to decide they were to fork in a road and then they went the wrong way. <laughs> so I just, I, I, I've been in the industry for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. I pretty much just had it. So I, I just went back, worked on my traditional business, which is driving me absolutely crazy. And I, I get emails from you almost every day, you know, for four years. And I finally, I just said, you know, I'm in, I'm in a, position now where I'm working with a guy who actually we're starting a company totally different it's it's kind of network marketing but it isn't so I just wanted to see what was going on you know I, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get back in I have to I mean it's in my blood it just it, I just got hit in the stomach so hard the last time I said man I just I gotta take a break you know so, yeah yeah and I, I watched that by the way I watched that happen <laughs> well, <I'm not. laughs> you know I, I you know I watch I watched it happen um I tell you what if you could put in the chat window your phone number, I'll give you a call tomorrow. We'll catch up and see um, what um, what you're doing and, and how you know we can help you. Uh, the, the I am really excited. Okay, that um, I have um, I had three different people. You know, for at every in every um, in every webinar. I'm sorry, in every retreat. We always invite a million dollar earner. I had three different million dollar earners that I had to pick one that I was going to invite to, you know, give a training. Now, these people here, some of them are legends in, 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 the, in their company, in, in their industry. And... Uh, They all had a specific message that was unique for them. And uh, um, I heard from an old student, or an old friend actually, uh, yesterday, who wanted to put some, someone in on his team into our, into our business, um, into our uh, boot camp and retreat. And, you know, I started talking to him and I said, you know what, um, if you were going to speak to 300 people about what it takes to become a million dollar earner, what would you tell them? What would you say is responsible for, your, you know, your success? And his answer you know, Jeff, I mean, as soon as I heard him tell me, I said, I invited him to be our guest speaker. He's not going to talk about his business, okay? He's not going to talk about his business, okay? He's going to be talking about what it takes to be successful, all right? And I'm going to bring up his attitude. Attitude. Attitude is so important. Now, his, everyone's got a story. Everybody's got a story. And part of his story, his brother got him into his business. Eighteen months after his brother started. Eighteen months. And it was the enthusiasm and the attitude of his brother that really did it, okay? So um, I'm not going to name him, although some of you probably know who he is. And, uh, but anyway, I'm going to use the other million-dollar earners to, um, you know, in... in, in Moving forward into other ones. Jimmy Smith, 
who is the number two earner in isogenics. It took him 36 invites before George Ruiz followed him from USANA into isogenics. It's all about relationships. Today, earlier today, we had a, in our five o'clock training, we had a phenomenal example. I'm gonna put this one up on YouTube, where James has been talking to this person since 2019. Potentially a great prospect, but she's just not ready you know, to talk about it. And uh, we literally took up the entire hour. Great lessons there. So all of you, every one of you is heading down a road where you can be talking to people, closing sales. And that's what it's all about. It's all about talking to people, discovering who they are, what they need. So at any time in the course of your conversation, at any time in the course of the relationship that you have, at any time, you can decide, do I want to keep talking to this person or do I need to stop talking to this person? and start talking to somebody else. All, all you're doing is you're, you're learning, is this person a candidate for your business this month? Okay? And you have to have the patience to wait to learn about it. Now, let me just take a quick look. Don, uh, Don let me just take a look. Okay, so Don, you're back. Again, it's, man, it's nice to see you. <clears throat> so you went through our, uh, looks like you went through, I think, our boot camp or one of our trainings six years ago. Now, so you actually went through the program before LinkedIn acquired, um, was acquired by Microsoft. Okay, so let me bring, let me slide your profile over. Now, uh, so I, I see that, you know, Don's got 500 visible. And Don, you'd be happy to know, let me pull this back up. That in, in the retreat, we have some names that you're probably familiar with. Um, Pat Anderson gave a training on customer acquisition. Um, Fred Holmes, what to look for in a network marketing company. I think there was another one. In, in your company. Uh, okay, what, what, what was interesting, let me, uh, oops. Okay, let me, let me unmute you because let's kind of catch up because, um, Last year in January, you know, Zeta was taken over by Isogenix. Now, what was kind of fascinating is about three years before, uh, Isogenix took over, absorbed Kivana. They absorbed um, Zango. So I'm going to unmute you, Don. And anyway, welcome back. And uh, so my question is, are you, did you make the transition? Are you over in, uh, um, are you doing isogenics or? 
Now, they've changed a lot. And so, so let, let me show you what's possible, all right? So we look at, so you're inside sales, and then you were, you work for the Department of Corrections, highway with the highway patrol you're a volunteer EMT okay so let's come up here and let's look for people that are EM emergency medical technic EMTs so there are roughly 355,000 EMTs that you could start a conversation with. Let's come over here and let's do a looking for opportunity. There's a million people looking for an opportunity on LinkedIn. How many EMTs? There's 2,700 EMTs that are looking for an opportunity. All right. We come back over here and we do a search instead of looking for an opportunity. Opportunities. Well, there's 3,700 people that are EMTs looking for an opportunity. And we come over here and let's just see. Let's take that out. So there's no shortage. There's one and a half million people that are looking for an opportunity. Salespeople on LinkedIn. 57 million. Nurses. 4.9 million. We've got a great strategy for human resource people. Almost 4 million. They also describe themselves as HR. 8.8 .8 million people. Folks, there is no faster way for you to reach out and start talking to people that you know in advance would be interested in what you're doing. Let me look at, uh, let's see, Rocky. <clears throat> All right, so Rocky Insurance. Okay, so you jumped in over the summer, and um, let's take a look. Okay, Rocky, now your settings are off, okay? Your, your settings are off because if we look at your, your profile, your, your employment history. Wait a minute. I, no, they're exploring, no, it's here. I stand corrected. Okay, so let's see. Let me unmute you.
You know, what's interesting is, because right now you're an insurance broker, um, let me um, bring up, again, I love success stories. So we came over here and we did a search for insurance. You have 11,500,000 folks that are in insurance. Now let me come back. I think I can do it from here. Let me go over to Facebook. All right, now, um, what I really should do, instead of, I, I was going to go into, into the account and uh, bring it up, but I, I, I really should do this. Uh, another way. So let me pull this up. Because this relates to insurance. Yeah, let's see. Da, 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 da. Because one of my students, um, going back to 2000 and eighteen. Let, let, let me just get into this, the new searching features on LinkedIn, okay? And I think it'll, it'll pop up afterwards. So the way you search today on LinkedIn, they're radically different. So we could locate whales, rock stars, by their job title, by the type of business they work for, by the name of the company, by their industry, by their location, by their city, state, country, or zip code. So I want you to look at these numbers. When you put in a search, LinkedIn is going to recommend other words. All right. So let's take a look at for fitness. Uh, this was in December. This was in January at the beginning of the month. Look, at, look how these numbers have increased. This is for fitness. They've got groups just like Facebook. Servers, 9.7 million. Waitresses, 1.7. Waiters, 1.7. Bartenders, 981,000. All of these numbers have changed. Hostesses, chefs, all of these people are looking for work. Restaurant managers. We have our 10 professions with the highest burnout rate. Look at these numbers. Doctors, Number two, burnout, nurses. Now we're going to be updating these numbers for boot camp. They've gone up at least 10 to 15%. Social workers, teachers, school principals. When I showed this to uh, a million dollar earner that is a school principal, he went wild. Attorneys. Police officers. These people are a click away. Accounts. Fast food employees. Retail. And then we have personal development coaches. Virtual assistants. 
Not using LinkedIn is like trying to build your business on a rotary phone. Not using LinkedIn is like going hunting for big game with a slingshot instead of a rifle. Or trying to start a fire by rubbing sticks together instead of using a cigarette lighter. Okay, so I want to find... I mean, it's such a, it's such a great... Oh, here it is. Perfect. Now, Joe Whaley was a network marketer and phenomenal salesman, okay? Joel knows how to sell. And working with him in my coaching program, 2018, his first month, he enrolled 18 people. He'd been successful in sales all of his life. He has his classic sales techniques worked for him just like they did face-to-face. In one month, we quadrupled his business. Well, he came back a year later, and now he's in the insurance business, okay? So we started an insurance business. The network marketing business is going great. In November of 2019, his goal, his goal was to enroll 108 insurance agents into this business that he was starting. Now, let me be clear here. This wasn't a two-hour thing. Uh, Joel and Phyllis were putting in 12 hours a day. So, by the end of November, he sends me this, I'm having so much fun that I don't want to sleep. Phyllis isn't sleep. We're making more money than we've ever made before and never expected it to happen fast. The insurance people we're working with all love this. You're the best coach in the business. So he sends me, New Year's Eve, this message. Phyllis and I want to thank you. Wish you a happy New Year since we started working with you on our new insurance project. We've gone from zero to 100 agents. The people that when they started this, they said, "We're we're going to enroll 100 agents before the end of the year. They laughed at them. They laughed at them. We could never have done this without you over the years. We've tried working with other coaches, but you're the best. You're all heading down the same road. It doesn't matter what you're selling. If you have any idea who your ideal prospect is, then it's just a matter of finding them and starting a conversation. That's what it boils down to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the chat window. Whoops. The links. To register for boot camp. My suggestion is go for the combination where you register for boot camp as well as our top earner retreat. And uh, if, in case you didn't get it, I put down the, the, pro, the, the link for our, our free profile guide. Okay, anybody um, have any questions? Our schedule for Ask Max sessions for the rest of the week uh, our 9 o'clock sessions have been moved to 12 noon because of the construction that's going on above my head. So tomorrow it'll be 9 o'clock, I'm sorry, 12 noon and 5 p.m. On Friday, it's just going to be 12 o'clock. And Saturday, 11 a.m., and then the following week, we're into a new month. And uh, remember, as soon as you register for boot camp, you can get started right away. Between their Zoom and these other chatting features, it has never been easier to build a business. Today, LinkedIn is 1,000 times better than Facebook. 
So if you're not on it, get on it.